So I've been glued to the table recently watching all of the interviews and all of the stories about the recent deaths up in the shooting in Connecticut. And one of the things that dawned on me with all of this fear and all of these conversations about what kind of laws are going to be changed and, and all the ways in which we can prevent this and parents not wanting their children to be sent off to school out of fear that they're going to be injured or heaven forbid that their safety isn't going to be taken care of. And I think it's one of those moments, much like the Trade Center, when we have these epic situations that, that induce all of this fear, that we have this opportunity to inject love into the equation and love into the situation. And one of the things that I've noticed is only in that place of love, that, that idea that love casts out all fear, that it's the only place that we can really get somewhere, that we can heal, that we can learn and grow and my challenge or my question to you is what are some things that we can do in our everyday life to help combat the fear in the world? Whether it is smiling at a stranger or whether it is helping someone with their groceries or just being nicer to ourselves or whether it is, I mean, the, the list is endless, but what can we do individually to help make our world a little bit better and put more love into the world? Because I think that we're all starving for it and Unfortunately, sometimes it takes these really big catastrophic situations for us to realize just how much we need it. So give some ideas on how we can love each other better and love ourselves better. We're so terrified to fail that we don't take action at all. We're just completely paralyzed, right? It's too scary, this idea of failing, because then we won't be enough and then we won't be loved.